Well, here we go. I got one chance to get this right. That's all you get is one. I got the air tanks mounted. I got the pilot mounted. I got the uh, yoke mounted. Along with the uh, with the dashboard. This is going to be my last chance to clean any debris out of the, co the cockpit. Because we're going to mount the canopy. What I've done is, first off, I painted the ledge around the bottom. Then I took a pen and I stippled this every oh, quarter inch. I put a hole in it. I did the same thing along the line that I drew earlier. And we're going to epoxy this with five minute epoxy onto that, <clears throat> onto that line. And I got one shot to get it on there right. So, we get the alcohol ready, that's the 81 proof. We got the towels ready in case we do have any, any mixed, uh, any run over. And we're going to mix up the epoxy. Okay. Now I'm using those Harbor Freight acid brushes that I told you to get a gazillion of them for $2. Mix that epoxy up real good. I got my pins ready because we're going to pin this down. And we're ready to go. So I take the epoxy and I go right along the stippled edges. Try not to get too much on there so it oozes out all over the place. I really hate it when you only get one shot and you only got five minutes to get that one shot right. If I screw this up, it's back to the drawing board. I wiped the canopy out for the final time too before I started this. I forgot to show you that. Because you only get, this is the last time that this canopy is going to be off the airplane. And it's, it will be mounted on forever. This way. Got a hair sticking out. What these stippled holes does is they don't line up. It kind of acts like a zipper. Okay, I got the epoxy all the way around it. Remember, one shot to get it right. canopy come on should have been ready for this there we go Now we pin it. What 
whatever you do, don't let it up <laughs> until you get the pins in it. Oh, that epoxy is getting hot. Kicking off. We'll just go ahead and hold it. This will get blended in with superfill. Clean paper towel so I can. I think I got some glue on my fingertips and I don't want to get that on the canopy. Feels like it's probably on there now, but we'll just hold it a minute longer. It's still soft. So that's basically how I put a canopy on. I've done it with the ditches. I've uh, I've done it all sorts of ways. Each each particular application is a a little bit different. You gotta kind of ascertain what you're gonna do on each particular job and uh, with practice you'll be able to get it the first time just like I did. And it did, it, the epoxy did come through those stippled holes, so we know we got a good bond. Take any of the, uh, or take the 91% alcohol and rub off any, any epoxy that might have oozed out. Of course, it's going to have super fill on it anyway though over the top and that super fill will come just about up to the parting line on the on the canopy to lock it in so we can't do our next coat of paint till this till this canopy is molded in Thank you. 
that's on there. So we'll just let it sit for a half an hour or so and I'll be back in a short.